Hey, welcome. Mike McMillan here. And today we wanted to talk about, talk a little bit about recording online streaming type videos, videos that you find online that are playing somewhere. And it can be pretty easy to record um, the video like that, but to get good audio, you have to do some special things. And I want to show you that today. So to begin with, why might you want to record some online videos doing like a screencast, a screen recording. A lot of people on YouTube that have gaming channels that are very successful, they get on, open up uh, Minecraft or whatever, um, and then they record the video and then they add things like, you know, oh, jump, there's lava down there, there's a brick wall, look out, a horse is coming. You know, they add, you know, things like that. And uh, so they have to record some online video to make that happen. Okay, maybe you go to webinars. Uh, a lot of times I'll watch somebody's webinar and maybe I can't watch it at the time that it's playing, that I signed up for it, so I'll record it and then play it back later and uh, still get the benefit from it. Other things like church services, maybe your church has, you know, live streaming of their services on Sunday morning and if you can't uh, be there to watch it, you could record it, play it back later online meetings now like Zoom and uh, go to webinar, go to meeting, things like that. They have screen recording functions built in. You wouldn't need that, but maybe like if it was a FaceTime meeting or something like that, you might want to record what's on your screen for whatever purpose. Um, <clears throat> software instructional videos. Well, things like I made a video not long ago where it, uh, it was using uh, Adobe Audition and which is a sound editing you know, platform. And so I needed to record what I was doing in Audition so that when I played it back, people could actually hear the sound that I was editing and see how those sounds changed. So it could be something like that. And there's YouTube. <clears throat> now I'll tell you right up front, uh, it's my firm belief that it's against YouTube's terms of service to record YouTube videos and uh, turn them into anything else. Even if it's a Creative Commons video, it's still be, maybe violating their terms of service, so I'd be very careful. And I've got a little booklet I'm gonna give you, and it's got sources of information of what you can do with YouTube and what you can't do, but please, please read it very carefully because I don't want you to get in trouble, okay? So what we'll do is let's get started and let me show you how to make some screen recordings of live online video and how to get perfect sound when you do that. Okay, this will be some fun. Well, let's get started right now. So what I've done in my little eight page booklet is to point you in the right direction. I can't give you legal advice, okay? I'm not an attorney, I'm not a lawyer, but I can point you in the right direction and give you links to pages on YouTube, on Google, on the Creative Commons site, um, places where you can get primary sources of information as far as what you can and cannot do in terms of recording, making screencasts, screen recordings of online videos. This will be a big help to you. Um, I have tons of links in there, tons of tips on how to, how to use this technique. It'll be a big help. There's a description down below this video and there's a link in there. You can download it. The best part is it's free. Okay, well, what I wanna look at, what I'm gonna do in this part of the video is show you how I do a screen recording um, of a live video and show you the right way and the wrong way to do this. Now, just so you know, I use ScreenFlow. And here's a picture of the splash screen on the ScreenFlow site. It's $129. I've used Camtasia. I've used some other screen recording applications. I love ScreenFlow. Okay, it's great. But it's $129. But uh, if you've got that, great. Um, <clears throat> if you don't, like I said, ScreenFlow, well, it works only on Macs, but you can get a free trial membership that can last forever. The only thing is that there will be a watermark on any of the videos that you record. You probably don't want that, but still, the free trial lets you test it out, try it out. Camtasia is $249. Um, they're very similar. You can get a 30-day free trial with Camtasia. Again, it will have a watermark. Um, it works on a Mac or a PC. Um, there's a thing called OBS, which works on Macs, Linux, PCs. 
um, it's free, and a lot of YouTubers use that. It's an open source application. Um, you can Google that up. Or you can look, if you don't have any kind of application right now, just do a search. Get on Google, do a search for free screen recording software. Um, quite a few will come up, and uh, just check it out. You can find something that you can use, I'm sure. Okay? So, <clears throat> in ScreenFlow, and I'll show you Camtasia in a minute here too, but just so you know how I'm doing this. In ScreenFlow, once I fire up ScreenFlow, I can go to File on the ScreenFlow main menu, and once I go to File, I can come down to New, and just click on New, and let it know I'm going to do a, a new recording of what's on my screen. Okay, so once you do that, this screen comes up right here. And at the top it says, uh, record the desktop from, it says color ELP, CD, liquid crystal display. That's, that's just your screen on your computer. So, you know, that's pretty standard up there. Uh, down below where the blue check mark is, it says record audio from, and it says internal microphone. That's the default setting that comes up. Um, now, all I have to do is click the red button and it'll start recording what's on my screen. But the problem is, is when you use that internal microphone, what happens is the sound comes out of your computer from whatever video you're watching. The sound comes out of your computer, goes through the air, and then it has to find its way back into your uh, built-in microphone on your desktop or your laptop, and you end up getting not really good sound. Okay, um, that's a weak link in the recording process. I just like to show you that because I did a recording screencast, screen recording two ways. One, I use this setting using the internal microphone. Let's play that right now and let me show you what that sounds like. Okay. So be ready to create some videos that entertain, engage, and inform your viewers. Well, if you're ready. Okay, so I did that with, uh, I'm going to close this down. I did that using these settings right here. You can see that the audio that I captured um, was not good at all. It was horrible. And that's the kind of um, audio you're going to get if you use the internal microphone in Camtasia, OBS, uh, ScreenFlow, whatever. That's how it's going to come out. Now, your other alternative is to come in here and click on unclick this record audio from internal microphone, unclick that, and then click on this record computer audio. And what this does, it's not depending on sound to come out of your computer, go out into the air, and then get picked up by your internal microphone anymore. What it's doing is recording perfect sound. It's the sound that comes out of your computer. Um, before it even comes out of your computer, it's capturing it, and you get perfect sound. Um, now, I will tell you that uh, if you do this, the first if you're using ScreenFlow, the first time you click on this button, a message is going to pop up. And um, what that message says is you have to download the ScreenFlow. They call it the Telestream. That's a company that makes ScreenFlow. Uh, the audio driver to record, ca uh, to capture um, the internal computer audio. Um, so basically, the thing that pops up uh, it gives you a choice. It says not not now or install it now. It's a very small file. It just takes a second or two to download. Um, but once you do that, then um, yeah, you'll be all set to go. And if you can't find that audio driver or if you miss that screen or something, you can Google it up and just look up Telestream audio uh, driver. You can find it like that. So be ready to create some videos that entertain, engage, and inform your viewers. Well, if you're ready to begin, I So you can hear the difference in those two audios. The first one is horrible, and the second one with recording the, uh, uh, the computer audio is uh, perfect. Okay, the sound is exactly like it sounded when it came out of my computer. So um, Camtasia and ScreenFlow, the way they do this, handle this, is uh, very, very similar. So the big takeaway is when recording streaming video, always record using the computer. Uh, they may call it the computer audio, they may call it the um, uh, system audio, whatever, but use that option rather than the internal speakers. The internal speakers is always going to give you bad sound, okay? 
so um, yeah, well, thank you for watching my video. And if perchance you do have screen flow, I would encourage you to watch um, this video. I have a, it's almost an hour long. I'm sorry it's so long, but it is complete. And uh, screen flow eight tutorial. And I've got a link to this uh, video of mine on YouTube and there's a link in the description down below you can uh, get that so okay well thank you for watching my video I wanted to remind you that you can download my free eight page ebook that explains what you can and cannot make screen recordings of online it'll be a tremendous help to you and as always my very best wishes for tremendous success with all you do on your YouTube channel okay take care